Thank you, Clay Pigeon, and good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Taylor Ham from coast to coast and all the ships at sea. Let's go to press. Mountain Home, Idaho. Gas leak. At the Mountain Home Cheese Factory, sickens a dozen employees in a New York heartbeat. Newport News, Virginia. <laughs> Meth lab. Busted by police in a formerly great hiding spot inside a tent in the woods between the local airport and the local Sam's Club. Sam's Club. Sam's Club. Blounce Creek, North Carolina. Train carrying molten sulfur derails in Beaufort County. Spilling 8,000 gallons of the smelly liquefied chemical. Detroit, Michigan. Titanium explosion. Blows a wall off of Global Titanium on Fear Street. Sending three people to the hospital and destroying the building. Stop messing with titanium. Next time, make meth. Toronto, Ohio, nitric acid spilled from a tractor trailer that parked and leaked and left the scene. The fumes were bubbling and smoking brown and sent their deadly odor down to the 4th Street exit. Paducah, Kentucky, meth lab found in man's backpack. McCracken County deputy saw a suspicious man walking in the 1000 block of Oaks Road. After giving consent to search his backpack, the man ran just as the refluxing stage had begun. The man was middle aisled and the meth lab was seized. That's gonna be seized. You're up to no good. Flagstaff, Arizona, a river of chocolate spills onto Interstate 40, spilling the delicious goo all over the westbound lake. Detroit, Michigan. Children's car seats are toxic and deadly <laughs> due to perfluoroalkoxyalkanes in these mates and models. Uh, Papa Baby, Jordan and Henry, Cleck and Nuna Pipa Light. <laughs> Champaign County, Illinois, baptismal font. At Illinois Church dispenses baptism and Legionnaire's disease. Sickening six, the baptismal font has been removed. <laughs> what hath God brought? <laughs> Hold it. Hold it, station manager Ken, you've gone too far this time. Idaho, gas leaks, uh, meth tents at Sam's Club, nitric acid, molten sulfur, and chocolate spills, titanium explosions. We we can't take any more, can we, Glisters? There's no way they want a, a bonus hazmat item today, is there? They say yes, station. Brevard County, Florida, 300 passengers and crew members sickened on Royal Caribbean's cruise ship to the Bermuda Triangle Gulch with a stomach virus causing explosions at both ends of the human intestine. <laughs> Thank you, Clay Pigeon, and good morning, Mr. and Mrs. WFMU. From the Pork Roll region to the Taylor Ham territories and coast to coast and all the ships at sea, let's go to press. Wilder, Idaho, CTI Foods is recalling 29,000 pounds of frozen, ready-to-eat poultry and pork sausage after people found pieces of metal in the links. Austin, Texas, roaches, bird poop, and bad food found at major Texas sporting venues. ESPN evaluated 111 sports facilities of the Big Four leagues and found acceptable standards in only 73. The rest, Katie, bar the door, it's not a pretty or tasty picture. <laughs> Washington, D.C. Two charged after meth lab uncovered on Illinois Avenue. <laughs> Investigators uncovered components of a meth lab. Two grams of cocaine, three and a half grams of meth, a pistol, and $2,712 in cash. Astabula, Ohio. Smuckers recalls cat food. <laughs> due to dangerously low levels of thiamine. Cat lovers. Don't let your kitties eat nine lives protein plus with tuna, chicken, or liver. Mantua, New Jersey. One beaver dead and another injured after being oiled in a fuel spill that started on Route 55 when an oil tanker turned over. Rochester, New York. Chlorine leak triggers hazmat incident. 85 pounds of the poisonous gas leaked from a rail car and sent one person to the emergency room. Pikesville, Maryland. Fear powder arrives in envelopes at three local synagogues. Two people fall ill from the fear powder despite it testing negative for toxins. Dublin, Ireland. Irish Christmas shoppers warned over counterfeit makeup containing lead and arsenic. The culprits? Counterfeit Kylie Jenner and Urban Decay Cosmetics. Kylie Jenner. Queens, New York. The Pyramid Hookah Bar on Bell Boulevard is closed by the Gotham Health Department for scoring a 63 on the violation scale. Issues included storing smoked fish above 41 degrees and for issuing an open invite to all neighborhood vermin. Hold it, hold it.
good holdage station manager can. Jesus. Dead beavers and chlorine leaks, fear powder profusion, and that lead-based Kylie Jenner makeup problem. I don't think they can take I think today's the day. Uh, they, they can't uh, take any more. The Glisteners can't take one more hazmat item today. Uh, could you, Glisteners? <laughs> they say yes. Open, Texas. Kotex recalls tampons after reports that they unraveled inside people's bodies. Some Americans needed medical attention to remove the tampon pieces left inside of them. <laughs> Thank you, Clay Pigeon, and good morning, Mr. and Mrs. America. From coast to coast and border to border and all the ships at sea. Let's go to press. Richmond, Rhode Island. Man trying to cook meth triggers hazmat response. Police contacted by the man's girlfriend who arrived home to find her boyfriend making meth with cold medicine, Sudafed, and bounced fabric softener and dryer sheets. Williamston, North Carolina. 5,000 gallons of untreated sewage erupted and flew sky high from a manhole located at the intersection of Thelma and East Main Street. The deadly geyser was caused by greasy buildup. Idaho State University. Fear powder, which prompted hazmat response, has been ID'd and it poses no threat whatsoever. None. None. Norman, Oklahoma. Walmart on interstate drive evacuated after shoppers complain of burning eyes. <laughs> Rattlesnake Bayou, Louisiana. Oil spills from a well at Port Sulphur. Concord, New Hampshire. Fear powder goes airborne at the New Hampshire Democratic Party office, but it poses no threat whatsoever. No threat! We are under no threat at all. Robbinsville, New Jersey. A robot gone berserk. <laughs> Hospitalizes 24 hours on workers after it rips open a can of bear repellent spray in a warehouse. Bear spray contains capsaicin, which is odorless, hydrophobic, pungent, and poisonous. <laughs> Vancouver, Washington. Columbia River Natural Pet Foods recalls cow pie fresh frozen meats for dogs and cats because of Listeria monocytogenes contamination, which can cause fatal infections not in the pets, but in human beings. <laughs> Sacramento, California. California hit hard by a ground beef salmonella outbreak linked to a 12 million pound recall. That's a big kielbasa. Hold it, station manager Ken, you are out of time. Giant kielbasas, meth cookers, untreated sewage, airborne fear powders, and berserk robots. I think that's just about enough for one day. I don't think that, well, I don't know if the glisters can take it. Glisters, do you want one more hazmat item today? They say go, station manager Ken. Peace be New Jersey! Officials recall chicken products sold at New Jersey ShopRite stores because the products are misbranded and may contain allergens! <laughs> Thank you, Clay Pigeon, and good morning, Mr. and Mrs. WFMU from coast to coast and all the ships at sea. Let's go to press. Elmira Heights, New York. Police Chief Rick Church has confirmed that a fire in a Lounsbury Avenue home was due to a meth lab explosion. <laughs> Mamaroneck, New York. Chemical leak prompts hazmat response at Mamaroneck High School. Somebody's getting detention. Hillsboro, Oregon. Eleven go to hospital with breathing difficulties after another possible hazmat incident at the local Intel plant. Intel inside, toxins inside. Cincinnati, Ohio. Benzene leak spreads in the Ohio River. Will it catch fire like the Cuyahoga once did? Only time will tell. Gadsden, Alabama, 22 hospitalized in anhydrous ammonia leak at Gadsden Chicken Processing Plant. And that's just the people. <laughs> what about the chickens? <laughs> Bucksport, Maine. Police bust up a meth lab in Bucksport, the 50th such lab Maine authorities have busted in 2018. Congratulations to Maine's finest. Mountain View, California. Police and hazmat team respond to reports of a fear box at Google headquarters. The box said, don't be evil, but it was filled with evil. <laughs> New York, New York, Blue Apron issues a warning about its sesame tahini sauce, which is loaded chock full of deadly salmonella. Salmonella infested tahini sauce. It doesn't get much worse than that. I don't know, station manager Ken, all these uh, hazmat episodes. I don't know today if the glisters can take any more. It just seems like you might have finally pushed the envelope just a little too far with these hazmat episodes. Well, glisters, I'll leave it up to you. Do you want one more? <laughs> they say yes, station manager Ken. Namibia, African continent. Anthrax alert! As more than 50 people are struck down by the killer disease after handling or eating dead goats. Stick to the live goats, people! Thank you, Clay Pigeon. 
St. Paul, Minnesota, human being survives a house explosion. The whole house started shaking, then kablam! Belgrade, Florida, human being injured in ammonia leak as 800 gallon ammonia smoothie springs a hole. Soquel, California, electrical transformer explodes at the local PO. She's gonna blow, said engineer Dick Gundry, and blow she did. Cleveland County, North Carolina, meth lab found in basement of clueless family home, says the patriarch, we had no idea and we're not just saying that. Two secret basement dwellers now behind bars. The Delaware Memorial Bridge reopens after a dangerous leak of ethylene oxide, which will mutate your genes and melt your body. Alma, Arkansas, FDA seizes food held under unsanitary conditions at JL Grocery Warehouse, finding rodents dead and alive, rodent nests, live raccoons, live cats, a dead possum, animal feces, and urine stained products. Mothers, don't let your children buy products at salvage warehouses. Concord, North Carolina, 300 humans contract food poisoning from Brunswick stew sold at a church fundraiser event. The stew tested positive for Clostridium perfringens, which sickens a million people a year. Hold it, hold it, station manager Ken. I don't know if we can take it. You can't even trust the, the Brunswick stew at a church uh, supper. It might be a hazmat uh, item. Uh, Glisters, it's up to you. Do you want another one today? Do you think you can handle uh, another hazmat item? They say go, station manager. Nature's promised chicken and brown rice dog food with purchase by dates of November 1st through November 8th will kill Rover because they contain deadly levels of vitamin D. <laughs> Hello, Clay Pigeon. Ann Arbor, Michigan, 105,000 gallons of raw sewage was discharged into the Huron River during the city's latest sewage overflow. The culprit? <laughs> flushable wipes that are not so damn flushable, are they? Florida, Illinois, Maryland, Massachusetts, and Pennsylvania, beware rancid tortellini! The United States Department of Agriculture has issued a recall for frozen chicken tortellini from O Solo Mio, incorporated out of Canada. That's what Canadian hospitality is all about. Staten Island, New York, multiple people injured after a hazmat incident at the Oakwood Beach Wastewater Treatment Plant. New York City DEP spokesman said there was a small chemical reaction in the laboratory. Small enough to send seven people to the hospital. Nothing to see here. Step back. Line it up. Right Pismo now. Beach, California. A hazardous materials crew was called to police headquarters Monday after a suspicious package and envelope containing an unknown white powder was brought into the department station. Please note, in the future, police would prefer that recipients of suspicious packages call and report them to police rather than bringing anything to the police station. Do not put your fear spores into a baggie and get into a car. Valparaiso, Indiana. Shampoo bottles were littered across Interstate 94 after one semi-trailer sideswiped another early Tuesday morning. The crash ripped both trailers open, scattering 13-ounce bottles of OGX hydrating tea tree mint shampoo all over the freeway. Springfield, Illinois. The Illinois State Capitol was on lockdown after an unknown substance was discovered Thursday afternoon. A hazmat team investigating the suspicious powder in the second floor men's restroom declared it to be soap. Soap! The exact same kind of soap found in the bathroom soap dispenser. North Fort Myers, Florida. Hazmat crews respond to a sinking 35-foot boat leaking fuel oil into a canal. An unknown amount of diesel fuel was released into the water, but an incoming tide was keeping it out of the Caloosahatchee River. Containment booms were deployed to keep fuel from spreading into the river when the tide ebbed out. Hold it, hold your horses, station manager. Ken, are you kidding me? Flushable wipes and rancid tortellini. Uh, Pismo Beach with those unknown powders and hydrated T13 mint shampoo. I don't know if the glisteners can take anymore. You want another hazmat item, glisteners? Go ahead, station manager. Lawrence, Massachusetts, seven toddlers hospitalized after carbon monoxide leaked into the elementary school from the rooftop HVAC unit. 